have I done? There is a good reason why I haven't been uploading many videos lately, and that is because my laptop is in the process of dying. Every time I've tried to finalise a video, it's overheated, it's crashed, it's been a problem. And so I decided it's time for a new computer. And as I was researching getting a new computer, I thought, there's been one goal that I've really, really wanted to give a go sometime, and that is to build my own computer. And so, this is what we have. What do you reckon, Laurie? Lots of boxes to play in, huh? You like this? Do you want to check it out? So I thought rather than do my normal sewing videos, I would give you a chance to see what happens when a complete novice tries to build her first computer. This could be interesting. So today I'm just going to unbox everything that I've ordered here and see what I've got and then in the next video I'm going to try put it all together and see whether I end up with a working computer or not. So let's get down to it. Okay, so here we go. Um, what I might have a look at first is this one here. I think this is not actually for my computer build. I suspect this might be um, for trying to rescue my current laptop. Because what happened with my laptop is that, oh, ouch. It was always overheating on me and I cleaned out the fan um, I've got some thermal paste to try and repaste that but it's really not helping so I worked out that if I uh, turned off my graphics card I could kind of inch my computer along without it overheating too badly but thinking that the fans might be on their way out and that's why it's still got quite a heating problem, I ordered in a cooling unit for my laptop so that hopefully I will be able to keep my laptop in use for when I need to be mobile and have a desktop to do all the hard video work with. Because my laptop's um, five years old now, it's kind of hard to find loose parts. So I was quite glad that I did manage to get my the correct cooling unit for my laptop. So once I've got a good working computer, I will then start to play with my laptop and see if I can keep it in working order. So that looks about right. It's going to be interesting to see what it's like trying to get that because I find laptops even scarier to play with than trying to build a computer. So there is our first bit. Now this is where it gets really fun because this is for my new computer. I might start with um, this parcel here. Now I ended up spending a fair bit of time trying to price everything out and I wanted to go um, as locally as possible and look into Australia. So I ended up at two different um, places. This smaller package here I think was from Umart or something like that. I will tell you now, neither of them are sponsoring me in this. Although maybe they should by the end of this. Um, and from Umart I mostly got um, sort of memory things. So this is my um, M2 solid state drive. It's the tiny little SSD card that the operating system and sort of all the programs will run on. 
And so this is a, a one terabyte Ooh. little thing. And it's a 4.01, which I believe is meant to be faster than 3.0 which is what I've currently got. There is a tiny screw there, which I have to make sure not to get, but there we go. Uh, this is a crucial brand one. I really don't know especially which one's the best and which ones aren't, but it seemed to rate pretty well from what I saw. So that's going to be my one terabyte drive to um, put all the important programs on. This here, um, I ended up with a Vengeance LPX um, by Corsair, which is my RAM. Now, because I do a lot of video editing as well as a little bit of gaming, I thought 30, 32 gigabytes is going to be the way to go. Um, so I thought I would give that a go. Again, seemed to rate okay. These two here... These are not specifically for the computer. I wanted to make myself a small um, SSD thumb drive kind of external arrangement. External, what do we call it? An external drive. And so as I was looking through everything else, I discovered that you can get little enclosures. Oh, wow, look, it comes with a screwdriver even. This is the Arico, um uh, enclosure for little M2 SSD cards, kind of like will be in my computer. I ended up getting a Samsung for this because it was just a little bit cheaper than the one that I got for my computer. It might be a little bit slower, but uh, considering that it will be plugged in with a cord, that will be the case. Um, but this will make for a really neat way of carrying data around rather than the bigger external drive that I've been using. So this will be a one terabyte size. It'll be a bit smaller than my current external drive, but for just throwing in the handbag, taking to school, bringing home, I think this should be, um, yeah, quite a handy little thing to have. And I am really impressed they give you the little screwdriver just in case you don't have a little screwdriver for that, along with the cords, along with a tiny screw and something. But hey, it comes with information, so that's got to be good. And a strip or something. I'm really hoping the instructions tell me what all of that is about because I don't have a clue. Yay! But we'll work that out. So let's get that back in its box. And we'll see how that goes. Lots of Chinese instructions on the back. You see? That's going to make it interesting, but all good. Okay, so that's my RAM and my SSD card. From um, Computer Alliance is where I got the rest of mine. It's a company here in Queensland and they have quite a nifty website where you could put in all of the various components and it would help give you information on uh, size issues, compatibility issues, things like that. They would have also built the computer for me, but this is my chance to DIY it, which is quite exciting. So here we go, along with all of the requisite paper and bubble wrap. Oh, this is like Christmas. Um, right, let's start. What have we here? <laughs> the brains of my computer. I went for the Ryzen 7, this is the uh, 5700X. I was really debating between going Intel or AMD. Um, I've always used Intel computers in the past, but I've been le reading a lot about the AMD and the Ryzen um, brand, and I was thinking it might be worth giving it a go. 
Again, the more cores, the better for things like video processing and multitasking on computers. So I wanted to go something bigger than an i5 or the Ryzen 5. I couldn't afford an i9 or a, a Ryzen 9. So this is pretty much why I ended up going here. There you go. Me as internet, you know, as computer tech knows all about it. That's all right. Okay, things are going to get hot in this computer, so we need some sort of a fan for the um, CPU. Because I haven't gone with a full-size box, I needed a slightly smaller cooling thing. I thought about getting a liquid cooler, but from a lot of the research I did, this might well be enough. So this is a low profile um, fan which should fit in here, should fit with the board um, and hopefully keep it cool enough. It wasn't an excessively expensive one so if I have to upgrade to a liquid cooler because I'm finding it's getting too hot that shouldn't be a problem. So I'll give this one a go and see and I mean look this does pretty colours when it goes around. And who doesn't want pretty colours in their computer? Um, because you'll be able to see some of the insides of this. So, you know, I can give it a go and make it look bright and sparkly as well. So that's the cooler I went with for that. Um, what else have I got? That's heavy. No idea what's in this. Oh, yes, I do. I think this is my other storage. I still think there's a place for normal spinning disk hard drives, especially for storage stuff. So I've just got a couple of Seagate. I think these were each two terabyte. They were quite cheap. Um, my case will hold up to three of these little babies. So I, um, I'll put two in there for now and see how that goes. But that'll give me four terabyte of storage, which again, videos being big, storage will be handy. Right, tax invoice, so I can be re reminded how much I've spent on all of this stuff. Ah, this is the thing that has always intrigued me. This is the motherboard. Um, I ended up going with um, this brand because it seemed to have all the right sort of uh, connectors that I wanted. So my case has one USB-C type at the front as well as a normal USB-A type at the front um, and this will have the appropriate connectors for that. It will also have another USB-C at the back um, USB type C at the back, I don't know, and a pile of others uh, of the USB A type. So that was good. It's compatible with the AMD. Um, oh, and it had Wi Fi as well. So this seemed to be a pretty good one. I was surprised that this was relatively inexpensive when it was all said and done. I had heard that the Ryzen um, CPU tends to be a bit cheaper, but you pay a bit more with another more than this one. But I don't know, maybe it was the other way around. Whichever. So that's what I've gone with. I think you can see there, that's what it looks like. Hopefully it will look really, really cool in my case. And hopefully it will be exactly what I need. So see. Right, so that's that's motherboard. Um, what do we got here? Okay, this we need power. So this is the thermal take. I went for a 650 watt, which is going to be more than I need. I reckon I could have got away with a 550 from what I could tell. But in order to future-proof this a bit, I thought I'd go a little bit stronger than um, what is strictly needed. 
I am really, really hoping this fits in the box. Um, it gets kind of a bit difficult, especially when you've got connectors and things that you need to worry about whether the fit will be right. But from what I could tell with the various research I did on various specs, I'm really, really hoping this one will fit. So um, that's our power. Let me move this box out the way. Hello, Laurie. <laughs> There's Laurie just sort of checking everything out. There's one more thing in this box. Because my, um, the 5700X from Ryzen does not have integrated graphics, it means I have to have a discrete graphics card. Do you know what? They're expensive at the moment. I blame all those Bitcoin miners for really, really bringing up the price of graphics card. So I went for a fairly uh, low range, um, a cheaper option on the graphics card. I think this was about $2.99. Um, but I figured this is something that I can upgrade when the price of really good graphic cards come down. This is also an AMD. From what I read, um, being able to coordinate your graphics card with your CPU means you'll get better performance out of it. So rather than go with a, an NVIDIA, which is what I've used in the past, I thought I would try this one. And hopefully, um, that will fit and do the job that I need for it. Right, so apparently all of this then is the guts of my computer. This is what's going to go in it. What I need now is the actual box that it all goes in. So that was actually kind of fun trying to choose which tower I was going to get because there are just so many cool towers out there at the moment. I um, I wasn't going to go a full size tower because they take up a lot of room. But I looked at some of the real mini towers and they looked really, really crowded and I was worried about getting stuff to fit. And then I discovered there is something like a mini tower, which is a real compromise in between. So I thought I would give one of these mini towers a go. And the reviews I read of this one by um, NZXT, NZXT, um, looked quite interesting in that it had the, the right sort of connectors at the front that I wanted. And it's got quite a cool glass side and I think I'm gonna turn this over and try and open this differently. And it looks cool. Um, that was one of the other big things. It's not an expensive case by any stretch, but it should have enough room for everything I need. And it's got cable management in as part of it as well. So hopefully that'll help getting everything in and neat and achievable a lot easier. Plus it comes in really cool colours as well. It already comes with some fans in the case to help with air circulation. Um, they do say that the flow works better in terms of air circulation, but because I'm not an excessive gamer, I'm hoping that that won't be a problem. Ooh, right. You can see already there's some red in it. So I didn't go basic boring black. Way up does this go? Ooh. Okay, that's kind of cool. So on the various um, air intakes, this is the bottom, and it's got—I don't know if you can see this down here. This is where the power supply will get 
it's cooling airframe. Can you see that? And it's got this lovely cleanable mesh there, which will help keep dust out, which should be quite helpful. And there we go. Have a look at how neat this is. This is what the front will look like. Let me get that out of the way. Just a beautiful, clean look. Love it. On the top here, it's just got the power, the USB-A type, the USB-C type, and an audio jack. And then, this lovely tempered glass side so that you can see all the beautiful stuff that goes inside. So, you know, if anything lights up and makes pretty colours, that will be seen there. Looks like all the cables are in there. A few bags of stuff, you can take this side off. This looks like it could be fun. So there we go. This is going to be my next project. Trying to get all of this into this and hoping that when I turn it on, things will all do what they're meant to. <laughs> and I have a working computer. So I know normally I do sewing videos. I fully understand if you choose not to watch because you're more into sewing than worrying about making a computer. But if you want to see what a complete novice is like trying to put a computer together, join me for my next video. Otherwise, have a great time and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.